<clears throat> Breaking news. Newton fails. Falls. Einstein next. Scientists dismiss Newton's law of gravity, gravity while studying black hole. This is from Republic. After releasing the world's first picture of a black hole, scientists have undertaken the most comprehensive test of general relativ relativity near the black hole at the center of our galaxy. This test has ruled out New Newton's law of gravity due to incapability to be applied in the black hole, as Professor Andrea Gez from the University of California states. Detailing how Einstein's theory cannot completely explain the gravity inside a black hole. Scientists reveal impending disapproval of Einstein's theory of general relativity. The apple falling on Newton's head, which gave us the famous gravitational law, has recently been disproved by scientists. <clears throat> scientists have undertaken the most comprehensive test of general relativity near the aforementioned black hole. This test has ruled out Newton's law of gravity due to the incapability to be applied at the black hole. Okay, we've already said this. Einstein's right, at least for now. We can absolutely rule out Newton's law of gravity. While our observations are consistent with Einstein's theory of general relativity, his theory is definitely showing vulnerability. Detailing how high Einstein's theory cannot completely explain the gravity inside of a black hole. Added, it cannot fully explain gravity inside a black hole, and at some point, we will need to move beyond Einstein's theory to a more comprehensive theory of gravity that explains what a black hole is. A black hole, or the ANU, is the point in which the energy mechanics over reach the scalar field potentiality and become implosive to create a singularity, which means the zero point is all connected. And everything in the physical manifestation has a zero point, in my opinion. Studying a star SO which orbits a supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, scientists have claimed that the particular star is the only one which makes a complete orbit in three dimensions, which allow scientists to study the various laws of physics standing the test. The star's full orbit, which takes 16 years around the black hole, which weighs 4 million times more than our sun. See, this is all speculation too. But I mean, the laws of physics, including gravity, could be valid everywhere in the universe, said gravely, but leading one to wonder which other physicist's theory will bite the dust. The equation for universal gravitation thus takes this form. F equals G asterisk M1 asterisk M2 forward slash R yada 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 where F is the gravitational force acting between two objects M1 and M2 are the masses of objects R is the distance between the centers of their masses and G is the gravitational constant now gravity is nothing more than magnetism Force in motion, loss of inertia. The scalar field, or the undefined energy, that is the chaotic waters of the noon, which is the microwave background, is limitless potentiality. When introduced, or tensors, or uh, vectors are... Uh, um, intertwined with said scalar field, Anu appear. And when Anu appear, that is the, the mechanism in which the physical 
is born from the energy. And it's not the mass of an object, it's the makeup of an object that determines its magnetic force or pull, if you will. Which leads you to speculate why on earth or in our cosmos, by the uh, better definition, does objects or do objects like Pluto, for instance, being 55 billion or 50 billion uh, light years or uh, miles or whatever the case may be from the sun still have connection to the sun and still orbit the star. Now, to add to this article, we on earth in my studies i've uh, i've mulled this over over and over again in my mind have i've come to the conclusion that for now anyway you know cuz truth is ever evolving in my you know the learning truth this truth of how the energy mechanics of our universe is our blood is Full of iron. That's what makes it red. If we're standing on a magnet, that magnet would hold us here. Because we have iron in our blood. Clay. Mineral makeup. You know, iron core. All makes sense, right? Tell me what you guys think. I just thought I had to share this article because I thought it was a big deal. Thank you.